<laughs> Good evening and welcome to the first edition of The Right Seat, your aviation business news leader. I'm your host, Angela Cheatham. Joining us tonight is the College of Business's very own Dr. Bijan Vasig. Yes. Dr. Vasig is a professor of economics and finance here on our Daytona Beach campus. He is considered the authority on aviation, economics, and finance. Absolutely. So you've authored, authored three books, Introduction to Air Transport Economics, Foundations of Airline Finance, and Aircraft Finance. You are also a um, consultant with the International Aviation Organization and have received the Covenant Frank E. Sorensen Award. That's true. And that is for Excellence in Aviation Research Scholarship. It is such an honor for us to have you here tonight. Thank you very much, Angela. It is an honor for me to be with you. And I want to really express my appreciation to give me this opportunity of exchange some thought with you. Thank you very much for asking me. Okay. Well, we're going to start with a couple of questions. Um, it's been an interesting week for the airlines with Alaska Air Group's acquisition of mm -hmm. Virgin America. How do you see it? And what will be the impact for the airline industry and traveling public? Uh, what I can say is my uh, feeling the most important event happened uh, post uh, airline deregulation of 1978, which happened in 2000 and 2003. We saw massive amount of airline uh, bankruptcies, airline consolidation. I remember 2002, we had roughly about uh, 10 aircraft, manif uh, 10 airlines, I'm sorry, uh, which enjoying about 90% market share. Since then, we had lots of airline bankruptcies, mm -hmm. airline mergers. And today we see only we have four mega carriers like United, American, Delta, and Southwest Airlines have massive amount of uh, market share, about 78%. Everything has been changed right now. A smaller airline, they have significant problem of competing with our mega carrier uh, because of network structure, financial strength. That is why we see uh, there is some movement among uh, low-cost carrier like Alaska Airlines, JetBlue, and Virgin Atlant uh, Atlantic to merge in order to have a solid uh, size in order to compete with uh, mega carrier. Uh, Virgin is joining with uh, uh, Alaska Airlines to create the fifth uh, largest airline in U.S. They have some advantages. Virgin has very strong network in east of United States, and also they are very strong in California. Alaska has very strong present in West Coast. Mm -hmm. Therefore, the new airline could be some sort of viable force to compete with uh, uh, American Delta United and uh, Southwest Airlines. Mm -hmm. We should see in the next year or so some movement by JetBlue in order to consolidate with the other airline in order to be a viable competition in the market and enjoy a decent uh, size. Thank you. Okay. What synergies is Alaska expecting to drive from this merger? The synergy, uh, uh, the, the only synergy what I see that, as I mentioned that uh, a few seconds ago, uh, Alaska doesn't have a significant presence in, uh, uh, in East Coast of United States, mm -hmm. which Virgin has. Therefore, the synergy would give them a total network. You know, Fortunately, in this merge, they don't have that many overlap rods. Overlap or limited, therefore they are augmenting their strength. Therefore, Alaska having west of U.S. and at uh, Virgin America in East Coast, therefore they would have a solid network to become what really catering business and uh, leisure traveler. Okay. So how's this going to help their cost structure? Uh, that is, I believe, about a billion dollar question. That's the only problem I see. Uh, everyone knows that the fleet structure for Alaska Airlines, they are mainly based on uh, Boeing aircraft mm -hmm. and some uh, regional jet. On the other hand, Alaska has uh, uh, all uh, Airbus aircraft. I don't see really some sort of synergy in that respect. Uh, pilot the crew planning would be difficult because mm -hmm. having three different type of aircraft. Cost reduction would happen simply by eliminating, for example, administration job because both airlines, they have two different type of revenue management department, two CFO department, mm -hmm. and they gain some 
form of cost benefit in administrative area. But frankly, I think one of the problem with this merge having incompatible aircraft type, one of them Boeing, the other one Airbus at the same time, we say they have a regional jet aircraft. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Fassi, for being here. For more industry news, experts' opinions, join us again for the next edition of The Right Seat. Signing off with the College of Business, I'm Angela Cheatham. Mm -hmm.